I don't want to get up and record. My bed is too comfortable. Uh... Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> Hello, Internet. This is Olin from what I'm listening to. For today's vlog, I actually have a theme, unlike last week's vlog. I'm going to focus exclusively on Japanese music. Whether that be J-pop bands or bands that are from Japan but got popularized in other places. Nevertheless, I have some great albums to show off here. Uh, I'm really excited to do this, so let's get going here. The first album I have here is by a band called The Pillows. The Pillows are the very first J-pop, J-rock band that I ever heard. This is actually one of the oldest albums in my collection. I got this back when I was in, I must have been in middle school, during my weeaboo days. One of my all-time favorite anime was a show called Fooly Cooly. It was only six episodes long, but within those six episodes was just this outrageous plot, weird stuff going on. But it also had a lot of symbolism and deeper meanings. It was one of those shows where you had to watch several times in order to really understand what it was going for. But one of the defining qualities of the show was they used music by this band. The director wanted to use band-oriented music for the show. He was a fan of The Pillows, so he reached out to them and the band happily let him use pretty much all their music. So this album compiles pretty much every song that was used in the show. It's a fantastic record. And they're not necessarily J-pop like you might imagine J-pop to be. They're influenced by a lot of rock bands. Bands like the Pixies or Dinosaur Jr. have some prominent influence on some of these tracks. And that's one of the things I like about them. They have some songs that are a lot noisier than others, but they also have some songs that are poppier. It's a mixed bag of material. If you have not listened to this band, you should absolutely check them out. They are wonderful. And if you want to get a good introduction to the band's material, highly recommend checking out this compilation. It's got some of the best songs by them on here. Next up, I actually have another album by The Pillows. This is their album called My Foot. It was around 2005 or 2006 when I got really into The Pillows. At that time, this was the most recent album they had put out. They've probably put out like eight other albums since then. But because I was super into the Fooly Cooly soundtrack, I really wanted to get their latest album. So I asked for it for Christmas. I got it. I honestly didn't know any of their other material apart from the stuff that was used in Fooly Cooly. So needless to say, I really had no idea what to expect off of this one. But I was not disappointed by it. It sounded exactly like what I wanted to hear. Just looking at this is making me want to invest more in the band's discography. But yeah, once again, great, great band. Highly worth checking out. This is another great one to listen to, as well as that Fooly Cooly soundtrack. Next album I have here is by a band called Orange Range. I talked about this band and one of my past vlogs. They're the first Japanese rap rock band that I ever heard. The first album of theirs that I ever listened to was called Natural, and the reason why I knew that album is because one of the songs off of there was used as the opening sequence for the anime Bleach. <laughs> It was back then that I only owned that album digitally, and I'd been wanting a CD copy of it for a while. So my dad was on a business trip to Japan, and he texted me saying, Hey, I'm at a record store, give me something to look for. So I told him, look for Natural by Orange Range, because I figured if any place would have it, a record store in Japan has got to have it. When he came back, he said he unfortunately couldn't find that particular album, but he picked up 
this Orange Range album instead. I was actually kind of shocked by how heavy this one was. Their earlier stuff has some rock influence, but gradually as they released albums, they started to stray away from the rock formula and focus more on being a hip-hop group. It sounds like a punk record at times. It still has rapping in it, but it just has heavier tendencies. Plus, there are tons and tons of guest stars on this thing. It seems like every song on here has a featured artist. Really, really unique sounding band, especially by Americans' perception of hip-hop music. If you're looking for what Japanese rap would sound like, I would definitely check these guys out because they are an experience. <laughs> The next album I have here is by a band called Dan. In addition to that Orange Range album, my dad came back with this record stating that this is a pretty popular band in Japan. I don't really know a whole lot about this band, and even before recording I tried to do a little research and I didn't find a lot of information on them. But what I do know about them is I like how they sound. I guess you could call it dance music, but it's not like EDM music, but it's more like disco music if anything. There's some rock influence, there's some electronic influence, some funk influence. I'll try to find a link to somewhere where you can listen to a song or two from this album. If I do find one, there'll be a link in the description down below, so I highly recommend checking them out if I can find the link, and if I can't, I apologize. But enjoy a song snippet right now. album I have here is a piece of vinyl. It's this guy here. I actually don't know who this is by or what this is called. The reason why I have this is solely because of the cover. I had a friend who was selling a lot of old records and she gave me the opportunity to peruse through the collection and pick the ones I wanted. There's a lot of old classical records as well as old classic rock and pop records. Then I found this one and immediately was curious by it. Because I love Japanese music, I wanted to know what this one sounded like, so I took it off of her hands. To this very day, I don't even know the name of the artist. I've played this maybe one or two times and have liked it, but could never figure out who this was by. Maybe there's something in the inserts here. Hmm, let's see, Japanese, Japanese. Oh, here we go. Graciela Susanna. Interesting. Well, there's a name, so at least I have something to credit this towards. But anyways, this is actually an interesting album. You'd think that this would be like a Japanese folk album, but instead it's more like salsa and samba music with Japanese singing. Super interesting album. The cover alone is great, and the music ain't so bad either. The next album I have here is by a band called Maximum the Hormone. These guys are fucking insane. I got this album for two particular songs, one called What's Up People and one called Zetsubo Billy. Both of those songs were used for opening and closing themes for the anime Death Notes. What set them aside from the other bands I've shown here is they're the first Japanese metal band that I'd ever heard. At that time, my perception of Japanese music were bands like The Pillows and Orange Range and then any sort of J-pop music that you'd hear in like an anime opening. So when I heard the death metal screams on this, I was like, what is this? I want it now. Give this to me. I'm glad I invested in this album because aside from the two songs I mentioned, the rest of the album is fucking phenomenal. Not only is metal a prevalent feature on this album, but there's influence of other genres on here. Genres like hardcore punk, cutesy J-pop, and even just general rock. If you're a metalhead, 
highly, highly, highly recommend checking this band out. I cannot express how weird they are, but again, weird in a very, very cool way. <laughs> Next album I have here is an album called Pink by a band called Boris. Boris is a pretty renowned band, especially in the metal world. They've done quite a bit of albums, and each album sounds like they play with a different style of music. They've done noise records, they've done ambient, they've done post-rock, they've done general metal, they've done shoegaze, they've done it all. Here they dabble in stoner metal, sludge metal, and even sound a little shoegazy at times. I got this one because I kept seeing the cover pop up, and anytime people talked about this band, they kept saying, check this album out first. They're not as weird as Maximum the Hormone per se, they just sound like your average stoner metal or shoegaze band, just singing in Japanese. What really interested me the most was the fact that it's put out off the Southern Lord label, which has put out a ton of different stoner metal records. This is a fantastic album. I highly recommend checking this one out, as well as looking into some of their other albums because they just do such great material. The next album I have here is by a band called Boredoms. I can't exactly remember how I discovered this album, but I will say when I saw the cover, I knew immediately I wanted it. As I've mentioned in the past, I'm a total sucker for album covers with no text on the front, just a simple picture and that's it. It's even better when the picture is colorful and abstract looking. So when I found a copy of the album at Amoeba, I quickly snatched it. And I'm glad I did because the album is phenomenal. It's one of the most unique experimental records I think I've ever heard. It goes through waves of being noisy, ambient, psychedelic, shoegazy, spacey. It just plays with so many different genres, but it's pulled off perfectly. I will say, if you are looking into this band, definitely start with this record. I'd say this is their most accessible. They have some albums that are very, very experimental, some of which are more punk-oriented, while others are a little more percussive-based. But I'd say this one is their best. Vision Creation New Sun. Look into it. The next album I have here is an album by a dude named Susumu Hirasawa. I basically bought this album for one song called Forces. The song was used as the opening theme for an anime called Berserk. Initially I sought after the CD single of Forces, but unfortunately it was going for a pretty high dollar value. So I found that the reissue of this particular album included the songs from the Forces single, and it was significantly cheaper, so I invested in it on Amazon. However, when the day came that I got the album in the mail, I saw that the seller had shipped me the standard edition instead of the reissue, so I was sad to not have my bonus tracks on there. So I had to reach out to them asking, hey, can I return the standard edition? Because I thought I was going to get the deluxe edition. A little bit of time went by, they said they needed to process it, yada yada yada. Then one random day, I got a package in the mail, and it was the deluxe edition. So I got the songs that I wanted, plus I have the rest of the albums to listen to, and if it's anything like the song Forces, I'm sure I will dig it. <laughs> The last album I have here is by a band called Chai. This is actually a newer band that I went and saw live at Amoeba. They were putting on a show in order to promote this album, which just came out. And what's even cooler is I got to meet them and get them to sign the record. When I went to the show, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. 
but when they started playing, I was blown away. I would say that they do cutesy J-pop music, but there's certainly some influence in punk, noise rock, and even some hip-hop too. As soon as they were done performing, I went and bought the CD. This is released off of Burger Records. They've put out some phenomenal punk bands. I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out this group, particularly if you're into Japanese pop music. These ladies were killer. <laughs> Alright internets, that does it for me. Hey, if you have any bands or albums you want me to check out, particularly any Japanese rock bands or albums you want me to check out, leave a comment down below, and if I like it, maybe I'll include it in a vlog. But until then, this is Olin from what I'm listening to, signing out, goodbye. <laughs>